Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will be delving into how end user can report message as a junk right from their inbox and how they can report messages as a phishing from any email folder. But that's not all. We also exploring how administrators can configure these reporting features and discuss the necessary permission. Additionally, we will cover the process of deploying an Outlook add-ins across all user accounts. Towards the end, we will highlight how administrator can access and utilize this report to aid Microsoft and our organization in enhancing email security. So stay tuned as we got a lot of valuable insights coming your way in the next few minutes. Let's dive in. We are in the portal admin.microsoft.com in this page we are going to see how you can deploy these add-ins on the all users or the specific users or the specific group you need to go under the settings and then you need to go into the integrated apps and when you are here then you need to click and the get apps for this you need to be the organization uh, global admin or the you need a, another permission or you are you supposed to be the member of uh, organization management role group so at least one prerequisites need to be matched uh, and then you can access and you can deploy this so so once you are here uh, in the search box just type a report and it will come up the two add-ins that you want to install on your Outlook and the web app, uh, sorry, uh, on the Outlook. So these two applications we need to install uh, add-ins on the Outlook. So basically get now, click on this and uh, confirm to continue, get it now. And once this is done, you will see there is a, uh, yeah. So is this a test deployment no i want to deploy this to my entire organization but you can if you want to test or you want to give this uh, responsibility to specific user or specific group that also you can do uh, with that i am just this is my test environment so i am going with the entire organization and with that i can just click the next and uh, next so it basically see if you see here i'll just go back and uh, these things uh, this uh, takes a uh, 24 hours to deploy uh, uh, this add-ins on the outlook so it's not immediately it's going to see any changes so it takes a uh, 24 hours to 48 hours to to get that add-ins available in the outlook app so i'm just clicking next and finish the deployment and same task i'm going to perform for the another get apps and then again i'm going to search a report here report and now i am going to install a second that is a report message get it now and same thing entire organization this notifications i'm not going to get i guess because of this is my a demo tenant i do not have any active domain associated with this uh, next next and finish the deployment now once you have this deployed and the user started reporting how you are going to see it's basically this is the my outlook app outlook web app and uh, when you click on any email you will see there is this is a warning message that it is the inbuilt uh, feature in outlook web app that my uh, that end user can use this report functionality so i'm going to report this as a report as a phishing and this click ok and this will uh, go to the microsoft so basically not to the microsoft the basically it will go to the submission so how you are going to access the submission so you need to go to the security.microsoft.com portal so where you will see all these reported like user reported messages that you will see under the security.microsoft.com and when you go here in action and submission you need to click on the submission and in the submission you need to go user reported this is the tab 
you can see the, the messages that reported by end user that messages uh, you can submit for the submit to the microsoft for analysis and they can make a proper decision on it so you can report as a clean phishing malware report you know this kind of things you can report to the microsoft and they can analyze deeply and see if there is anything they can do on your messages and top of that see this is a microsoft that this message is already submitted by uh, me and uh, reason that is i i felt like this is a spam and the original verdict no threat found when the message was arrived uh, there was no threat found and the result should not have been blocked and yeah so nothing as no action has taken from the microsoft on this email so these emails are going to be delivered in the user's inbox so this way you can uh submit like users can submit the message and you make a decision and top of that you can also submit this to the microsoft to analyze deeply and improve the email security uh, this way so this is all from this video thanks for watching